Good afternoon, Coach Biker here, and I've got cruise control on and navigation. Won't it run without the lead? Well, we'll go there and we'll, we'll see from there. Okay. It's going along the motorway, look. So, is it really one week since I was uh, soaked in Wales? I think it is. It doesn't seem like a week. But, uh, that's fine by. But partly because uh, she who must be obeyed had a load of DIY for me to do. And I hate that. But anyway, it's done. Back's killing me. So Dr. John and I are heading off again to Wales, this time for a bit of fun. So I thought I'd catch you up on a couple of uh, consequences of my brake recall and uh, first year service, albeit 18 months, 19 months. Um, it was a little bit late. I did change the oil myself. Um, at about 10 months anyway, so everything is everything is good, we hope. The first things first, the brake recall. Now I had been told by Gary L and a couple of others that uh, it wasn't a quick job and boy they were right. I had the, the service done, which can't really take more than an hour I would have thought, and the brake recall I was there for at least five hours waiting, uh, which is not brilliant when you uh, and not allowed to use the toilet. So it's one and a half hours there, five hours of waiting, and one and a half hours back with no toilets. So uh, my bladder was fit to burst by the time I got home. But the brake recall itself seems to have gone okay. Now I have heard of a couple of people who've had issues with the brake recall. Uh, Gary L found that his brake was sticking on after it was done, and it caused him overheating problems. Touch wood, I'm glad to say so far I've not noticed this but thanks for Gary for letting me know because I was able to alert the dealer to this and ask them to check it, which hopefully they've done. There's not a lot of difference to look at, uh, slightly longer on the uh, banjo bolt, which uh, is a bit more metal there I think to keep it cooler. I honestly don't think the S model would have any problems, it's not going to overheat. I'm guessing it's more for people who are riding the hard off-road. But anyway, it's been done. One thing I did notice, it's like anything, as soon as you change anything on a bike, when you've got used to it, it just feels different. The back brake felt different. It felt like it was uh, closer to my feet, or to my foot. So, um, I've, I've turned the... Um, foot pad around. I don't know if you know, a lot of people might not know, but uh, you can adjust the height of the brake pedal on the 790 Adventure, uh, not just in terms of adjustment for dub, but also in terms of its shape. You can unbolt the foot, turn it over to get a higher one. I tended to have it on the higher one, just standing up. With my big boots on, and with the adjustments from having the new um, brake line, I found that my foot was uh, almost resting on it, so I dropped it down again. It's fine now. Obviously, if I'm riding lighter boots, it'll probably feel a bit low, but with these boots, it feels great. Anyhow, it's going round the bend, up around the bend. Up ahead, there's a place that I'm going Just as fast as my feet can fly So uh, we set off, me and John, to go to a place in Wales with The name of which is completely forgotten John was going to lead the way with his new uh, navigation on his phone He bought a new case and everything but, uh, Typical John, the test is the day we actually want to use it And it fell off <laughs> uh, we have different approaches to things. I would have been testing it for a week before I set off, but uh, John decided to um, test it today. Uh, it fell off before we got some fuel. So we've put the 
I put the navigation on my KTM my ride turn by turn you can probably see it there um, and we're going to try using that I could have put my sat nav on which I would prefer for this kind of a, a trip but um, I didn't bring it with me I thought John was leading the way so anyway KTM my ride is going to try and take us to wherever it is we're going the name of which I can't remember oh well I've got this one go fit Way. I'm not quite sure that's what uh, my ride had in mind, but that's what we've ended up. So it says 4.4 miles and leave the motorway, so we'll try it. Yeah, so the other thing I had done was uh, I had a, an Avon Trail Rider tyre in the garage, it's been there for two years, uh, and the uh, 790 Adventure comes with those as stock, so. I don't really like them to be honest, they're very good in terms of grip on the road, can't fault them for that, but they wear very quickly, they're very soft, there's a lot of silica in them, which is a good thing, you don't want to fall off in the winter, I think I like a winter tyre really, rather than an off-road tyre, but uh, anyway, because I had one, I've had that fitted, but on the front I decided to go with the Michelin Anarchy ADV tyre, which is a lot more expensive. But the Avon Trail Rider that I had on the front, the 21 inch one, I was not impressed with it at all. It had uh, started cracking already after just 4,000 miles. The tread was okay. Kind of the rubber was perishing or cracking on it. So I decided to go with the Michelin on the back, on the, sorry, on the front. So we'll see how that goes. I'll do a couple of thousand miles on the Avon at the back and then probably switch to an Anarchy ADV on the back to match. That's the plan, let's we'll see how it goes. Anyway, getting back to the vlog, I'm not sure if I'm in England or Wales at the moment, but I'm somewhere. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Beautiful. Better stop and have a look at this. Okay, this is a lovely place. Look at that. Beautiful. Royal Oak. This is lovely, isn't it? Thank you. So I suppose this this vlog is uh, partly a recap on the work that uh, was done, the recall work, which seems to be working fine, thankfully. Just using the back brake now. If anything, the back brake feels a little bit better than it was before. Uh, it could be my imagination or just a different adjustment. But using the uh, KTM My Ride, it's brought us to a very obscure piece of uh, the Welsh or the North Welsh countryside. I haven't got a clue where I am, but it seems quite confident that it knows where it is, so I'm trusting it. We were supposed to be using John's navigation, but it, his only lasted as far as the garage. So 
so yeah, it's taken us straight to Worthensbury, which is where we wanted to go. <laughs> well, we seem to be making a habit of KTM to the rescue. <laughs> a long long way to a rescue only because i missed the turn <laughs> big old church what a lovely place so can you off-road a triumph sprint john can it's a magical mystery tour to a river we hope Okay, this is where you don't want to slip. Oh, well, John goes through and then I'll go. Yeah, the bike handles it quite nicely. Just look where you want to go, let the bike do the rest. Ludwig's handling it nice and easily in his stride. I mean, let's face it, John's on a sport tour of doing it. Presumably there is a river somewhere. John seems to know where we're going. Let John go first, and I'll go. Don't want to get too much mud on my bike. Wash it all off tomorrow. That's a lovely place. Anyway, that's uh, my little vlog for today. I uh, catch up on the. Um, Brake recall and its effects. Minor as far as I can tell, hopefully. Two new tyres, a little bit of off-roading, filtering, and just general exploring using the KTM My Ride. A lovely little village we found here. So until the next time, Codge Biker is out! Yeah, so I did very much enjoy that, I have to say. Cheers, John. That's a good choice, that. <laughs>